When it comes to the weather, when we're cold, so is our local wildlife. And actually, they're trying to find some new homes to take cover in. It, probably yours. NBC 38's Natalie Fultz has the rest of the story. Well, we aren't the only eager ones trying to get indoors. Animals are trying to find warmth and food. But could this be dangerous for homeowners? When it comes to bad weather, we've seen plenty oh, of it. That means that animals That's have it. too. So where are they hiding? Well, in your home. Usually you either hear them with scratching or uh, rumbling around in your attic or in your crawl space or uh, droppings where they've, where they've been in the house or, or in your attic or wherever and left droppings there. Uh, sometimes smell like a strong urine smell uh, in your insulation and such. Squirrels, raccoons, and rats are the kinds of animals that you might have snuggling up to you at night. You know, they'll get on the roof and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until they eventually find a way to get inside the house and get in. Food and warmth attract them to get inside. But what about that warm weather that's just around the corner? Will they come in then? If you have a lot of food out or, or it's a real dry area and the only place for water is near your home or in your home, then these are, these are the variables that are going to bring them in, even if it's no matter what the weather is. So what can you do? Well, you got to keep food sources away from your home, like your bird feeders and pet bowls. Keep gutters screened and piping sealed. If this area here is not sealed tightly and good, they can get in. They can get inside and make a home out of your crawl space, which has a nice temperature to live in. A mouse needs about the size of a dime. A rat needs about the size of a quarter. If it can get its head through a hole, it can get in. And even though some of these creatures are cute and furry, they can cause some major damage. They can cause thousands of dollars of damage. They can get into electrical wires and cause fires, which can create hardships. <laughs> and they can uh, ruin insulation. Uh, just by nesting in, a, in your attic or, or in your crawl space, uh, ruin pipes, um, they just really cause some serious damage to your home. And these animals are even dangerous as some of them carry rabies, ticks, and fleas. Another tip you may want to consider is keep your grills cleaned and covered if you aren't using them. Sometimes these animals make the inside of your grill a home. And also keep your garbage sealed. For WLTZ First News, I'm Natalie Foltz. All right, thanks, Natalie. That's some good advice. Well, we are